Hello, welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast, YCS Sydney Special. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. I need to put these away. You do. Uh, and Luke from Locals. Uh, oh, yes, we'll so explain well. why he's here in a minute. Uh, so, we have just about wrapped up Sydney YCS at this point. Uh, we're literally waiting on the final results uh, as I'm speaking. Um, but let's uh, quickly recap how, how it's all gone. Well, realistically, we don't matter. No. Luke's the person we're here for. <laughs> yes. He's no. the reason that uh, we've decided to bring him here for this live podcast on the set of YCS Sydney, hidden in a secret location, back alley. Uh, tell everyone what happened today, Luke. Uh, okay, well, I, t- I came uh, top 32. Well, that was yeah, a, a really good. subtle way of saying that he top 32 <laughs> YCS. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah what, what happened? Go, uh, let's talk everything. Talk everything. Talk your starting talk. Do I, need my start yesterday. Do I need my notebook for this? You got your notebook? Yeah, I got my notebook. He's got his notebook. I See, he notebook. prepared. Yeah, yeah. He prepared his matchups. Yes, I did indeed. Uh, Do we have a result on the YCS yet, Jake? Not yet. Jake, the challenge. I need to shout out Kurt for giving Final me. Final is happening right now. Jesse Cotton versus Flunderies. Okay. Yeah, I want to know. Run, run us through your weekend, Luke. Okay, so uh, day one, I finished uh, X1. So that was 7-1 because it was eight rounds. Yep. Uh, so match one was flu, which I won. Uh, tier, which I won. Round three was tier again, which I lost, but like game three, I just opened on playable pass and that was it. Have you said you were playing yet? Sorry? Have we said what you were playing yet? Oh, no. Yes. What were we playing? What I was playing? Oh, yep. I was playing Sorcerer. There we go. Playing Sorry. the same thing you did when you won player Play of the year. Yeah. Two, just three weeks ago. Slight, slight tweaks. Uh, round four was Mech Knight. Round five, which Mech, I won. Mech Knight? Yeah. In round, yeah, round four was round... Mech Knight, which I won. He was okay. like, Mech Knight, well, Legacy. Jake gave you all the preparation all for this. Dude, one must always I play, play around the mechanics. I play around it like um, without thinking. I just like don't put stuff in the same column. And then he was actually playing Mech Knight. I went, oh. <laughs> so good. it worked for once. Man has to set a back row to play. Yeah, uh, round five, my Dolce with like the Asiju stuff and the Venom. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, the Earth I've shit. seen that run around. It looks really cool. Actually, it's very interesting. Yeah. I won that one. Then I was <laughs> Cash Tier at Weather Painters. In what round six, what but, is your weekend looking like? But, but he was playing like D Fisher and Shifter and stuff, so I'm assuming yeah, he's, he's like X one his way through with that. Yeah, yeah, and then it's also it was you know, pretty good against that. Round seven, I versed my Dolce, my Dolce, yeah, she just stuff again. Yep, which I won, so I won that and the Weather Painter one. Then round eight, I versed Stun, so like Inspector boarded Fossil Dino, straight Stun, straight okay. Stun, so I won that. Uh, so that was day one. Um, so yeah, X1. You've played one Tour Elements at this point or two Tour Elements? Two. Two Tour Elements. And I only lost because I bricked. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Round nine, so day two, round nine, uh, versus Flu, which I won, which was a crazy game three. Uh, and then, uh... Final round, yeah, yeah. Yeah, final round, which I didn't write down, I forgot to do it, but I lost against Poe in the final round of Swiss. On table one. On table one. At the end, last round of Swiss, you were on table one. Yeah. Be proud of yourself. I'm happy. Did insanely yes. well. Uh, and, then, and then top 32 uh, versus Jesse Cotton. I had faith, but it was always going to be an uphill battle. When we had I, one I Daryl, was, we were I, like, yes. I was feeling good because like I won the Daryl and I had like a decent setup and um, I think I had a bit like a beast. I, yeah, I had a Jewel Swim in hand yep. with like Droplet. But he did like, he got to like a chain link five with like, and then five, uh, five was like a Sharon and then four was like a Kelback bouncing cheese out. So basically I didn't have that extra like okay. negate. Yep. Um, so that kind of hurt, but I had the droplet send Jewel Swim to get rid of his Rhino Heart, which yep. banished it cause it came back. Um, cause I dropped it at the kit calories. Yep. Um, but like he just, yeah, he just had, he just had too much. He had too much for him. Yeah. And then game two in per Moye and then just. And my desires like drew um, another Arsenal, which was dead, and anti spell, which did help a little bit, but not too crazy. Okay. So um, it, it did suck, but like I didn't misplay or anything. I just played it out as I could, and then he just won because he just had more stuff. You still get to be the next person for long that says, I topped the YCS. Yes, I'm still very happy. Like after finishing X1, like I was very like nervous going into day two, thinking, oh, okay, I'd lose both. I'm just going to feel shit. Like, going really well and then yeah. getting screwed over but the fact that i actually like pushed through it and like didn't let it get to me mentally yeah, you converted yeah so that, that felt good good, good, good so good yeah so very happy overall even though like like it would be nice to go 16 on top of eight but like it's still the top yeah you can't really like yeah 100 no you did away. insanely well you didn't have to play top cut swiss 
<laughs> this time. Yeah, this time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time Top Cuts. Top maybe Top Cuts Twist would have been favorable to you here, Luke. What have we learned? Maybe Top Cut Twist is it's, best. Maybe yeah, the way maybe, to play. Maybe, <laughs> maybe finishing a YCS at 4 o'clock in the morning is beneficial for us. Yeah, just push on. The whole thing should have been yesterday. Yeah. Slash yeah. this morning. <laughs> a whole day just for Top Cut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we do have an update on the we, winner. We have a winner of the YCS. Uh, after three rounds in a matchup of Tear versus Flu. Jesse Cotton versus Dimensional Shifter. Yes. Uh, Jesse has come out on top. He has beaten Dimensional Shifter this time. <laughs> <laughs> it will have its revenge. So yeah, Tear has topped yet another YCS. Uh, you've got the, the YCS top I 32 I do, breakdown. so I have the top 32 breakdown. It is as follows once my phone... Oh, well, Andrew would be sad. Flu didn't take it. I think Andrew wants that as much as he's saying he doesn't. Like, as much as it'd be nice for the deck that he's playing to get a top, it also yeah. puts attention on it that he probably doesn't want. Mm. That's true. Yeah. So, uh, top 32 is as follows. We have 21 tier players, which I'm assuming is a Shizu Bistial as well. Yeah. Uh, four Sprite. Uh, just has Sprite. There was a lot of Sprite running around. And there it, was. I've seen a lot yeah. of Sprite. Yeah. I, Sprite. I was unprepared for. I was um, also unprepared for Sprite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three Flandry, two Runic, and two Sword Soul. Pog. Man was not the lowest representation. And uh, I think one of the, the Terralmen was actually that Destin guy who played, um, like, it was like Thunder Dragon, Terralmen, Pile, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But they, they, they just put it under Terralmen. Sure. So, I I, to just, just, just to clarify, so I guess. It all works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, big shout out to Jesse Cotton if he's watching. I oh, know he's not. He's not watching. <laughs> but he won another YCS, yes, so. He did. Yeah, and um, he broke the streak of coming second because he got second place walk twice. No. Man is finishing the top two of a lot of YCSs. I don't know at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's at least a few, like three or four. I can't remember. Um, I suppose we can chat about our. Oh, do we want to discuss our weekends? Our weekends not were abysmally bad. Yeah. I um, did nothing but prepare for Element and played one Element. Yeah, um, same. Yeah, it was ugly. Yeah, it was pretty ugly. Um, yeah, so once the Banleys came in and um, Sprite looked effectively nerfed, no one at our locals was playing Sprite anymore. So uh, yeah, there was no preparation for Sprite, and those were the matchups where I got probably the most screwed up because uh, one of them played a card I'd never seen before, uh, Gamma Burst. That it's increasing by fourteen hundred attack. Uh, yeah, but it increases everything. Yes. Yes. Not and weak. then it has a graveyard effect as well that you can banish it and give something else 1400 attack. Oh, that never came up against me. In my well, that was that's what stuffed me up. So the rank two ninja. How do you not play that many sprites, Luke? I didn't verse any sprites. We're sitting here toiling amongst the sprites. You're like versing sprite over here versing Madolche. Where were my no, Madolche? I would have lost harder to Madolche, so. I don't know. It's all Earth. No, I, no, I ain't no. doing dog shit. It's really not that bad because they, I, they uh, go <laughs> neg a little bit when they use all their. like. Yeah, the so Verna Seals neg them quite a bit on hand yeah. also, so if you can stop their plays in between that. Well, you just let them go, and then they just, they it, like, they just try to do to search Angeli really most of the time, and then you just stop Angeli. I don't have a way to stop Angeli. Oh, well then, I don't know. I don't have a way to stop, literally, I don't think I have a single card in my main deck that would stop my Do you not play Veil or Imperm? Or no. Drop it? No, that was my problem this weekend. Uh, I didn't play any of those cards. Yeah, Imperm. I didn't have the Imperm space, because like, I didn't want to go above 45 cards. Imperm was like... Oh, you're at 45 as well, that's a lot. Yeah, I didn't want to go above 45 cards, so I didn't put in traditional hand traps. Mm. Big mistake on my part. Yeah. Big mistake. I did drop it, the Madolge play for like 3 though, that was kind of cracked. I decided the, the droplet, because I was like, oh, well, I'll just put in the droplet in yeah. those matchups. Came up. That's how I beat my Earth Machine matchup. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It is what it is. I didn't get enough, I, thought, I got gifted two very easy matchups very early, and I think that probably, uh, put me in a place of overconfidence like my very first game was against tri sprite which is a respectable deck but like just destroyed not it. as strong as yeah. pure just, yeah just whacked it um pretty. second game was against runic sword soul which was if you're ever wondering why those yeah. tech decks aren't together that was a representation of why um the second game you summon tenyi you turn off any benefit of the runic engine what you put the bunk up in the extra monster zone and oh, all the fusions have to go you up. You can't there. protect your field spell. Correct. Yeah. Yes. That just sounds so dumb. It was really bad. You also skip your battle phase. Um, but then, yeah. Um, but those were the only two wins of the day. I've lost the rest. Uh, three were to Sprite and then one was to Tyrellman, um Branded. Oh his, his mills off the few Tyrellman cards he had were better than mine. I milled 10 cards and didn't get a single name. 
In giant card today, my loss was immediately to getting like bodied hard by RNG, my opponent. Game one, like milled eight and milled like godly. And then in game two, I'm like, okay, I'm going first this time. I like normal summon a chamber, get Havnest into uh, TNA and then both shufflers. And I was like, bruh, I lose. No. Game over. It's so bad. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't a great weekend um, in the main event, nor was it in the side event. Um, only got to enter one side event because they ran out of mats um, to do win a mat, and I lost in the first round of that. Um, that was in a mirror. That was a proper mirror. So this this YCS came together very last minute, apparently. Where so we were told effectively nothing ahead of time in yep. terms of like yeah, I only found out side events later like that when we got to the venue. Yeah, like it still says to be confirmed on the website. Oh it was God. all strung together very last minute. They had fifty four mats for all side events, <laughs> so they ran out of mats very quickly for winter mats. Oh, because you also get mats for not just winter mats like other for the giant cards, yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah, the mega regionals. Yes, yeah, well they didn't have a mega regionals. Well, they were supposed, supposed to get they they didn't organize didn't mega regionals. regionals going off it was just mats yeah. and cards very haphazard and yeah not not my best ycs actually no I'm this has been my worst ycs yeah, yeah i was about to say this is the worst ycs in both organization and my representation on the day it hasn't been that bad like, like judges and stuff have been fine but it's just it's once the time oh, yeah, once really we got nice. to the venue and it was time to start play this ycs has run a lot better than most ycs's yeah, like, in terms of how we that section like run, six o'clock last night. Yeah, six, uh, seven, I think it was six forty by the time everybody was out. Like yeah. in terms of their like, matches, that's a shock for Australian YCS. We're normally out of here at like ten. Oh, yeah, I remember my first YCS. I got out here at like ten, and I was starving, and there was nothing open. Yeah, it was pretty good for like eight rounds efficiency wise. Yeah, but yeah. I felt the rounds got, went really quickly. Yeah, it ran very smooth. So in in terms of once we arrived at the venue, this YCS has been run pretty well. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't knock it. I think it's just the pre-organization of like yes. what's going when and how much is we what, didn't what, 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 know what nothing was trying cards were yeah. until yeah. someone leaked a photo from the venue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It uh yeah was very in the dark for a lot of this. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um yeah, uh what else can we talk about in terms that, of the YCS? I think that pretty much I think, I think that wraps us up for the YCS. Do you have anything to say, Luke, in terms of the YCS? Yeah. What are your uh, thoughts? Oh I just want to say like like everyone I verse was like really like really nice as well. Like I didn't have any issues with like um my opponent jarking or just being you were the idiot. <laughs> if all your opponents were great guys, you were the arsehole. Confirmed. I was the arsehole. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really it. Just like it just made everything just like be like run a lot more smooth and not have to deal with like any idiots or anything. Yeah. So that felt that felt pretty nice. Everyone was like really friendly. Yeah. Good. Bring us to some news, Jake. Yes, of which there is a lot, so I'm just gonna scan over it all very quickly. Weak news. Why see Yeah. No. <laughs> it's done. Um, yeah, we're talking about there wasn't a lot to chat about. Um we can talk about it for the next 12 months. He gets to run his mouth about how he talks and talks and talks and talks. Okay. Um, Jake, oh, can we ignore this event? Ben, remember that yeah. I talk. Remember, yeah, that, remember that time? You remember the top? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to quickly scan out some news. <laughs> um, there's a new archetype called Nemorelia that's coming out in... Um, what's CIAC? I can't remember. Kyak. <laughs> in the Kyak set. Cyberstorm Access. Yeah, that's the one. Um, it's a really bizarre archetype. It's like a result, it revolves around a pendulum monster being in the extra... Monster. Oh, this is like that, like, food monsters, isn't it? Um, yeah, kind of. Oh, shit. I didn't realise this got announced in the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, oh yeah, we've been, been off for like the last two Yeah, weeks. we've been off for a while, so hi. Um, so yeah, it's a really bizarre archetype. This one pendulum monster needs to be over in the extra monster... Uh, yeah, extra it, it seems like a really cool like rank 10 access package until the thing that searches the rank 10 pieces can't be used. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And this is the next main set after yeah. hopping over. Correct, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So it's like, the field spells like add both level 10s to your hand and they both free summon, but then it's like, you cannot special summon from your extra deck. <laughs> Uh, while we're still in the realm of uh, Cyberstorm Access, I'll announce some of the new stuff. A uh, heap of branded stuff has been announced. Um, uh, new Sword Soul card. Yeah, new Sword Soul card. Uh, the Soul, Soul, Soul Sword card is actually super solid for Soul I really Soul like as well. Search for removal. Pole. Yeah. Um, but then there's is also... Is it just like a spot removal spell? Yeah, just, if, you have, if you have a Synchro, you target and just banish a monster, right? Is it a quick play? Standard, nah, standard spell. Ah. It was a quick play. 
Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tribe Gate also got a quick play that's also very solid for them because um, it enables more for their um, ranked five that they're getting. Yeah. Because before you needed two or more of yep. the spell and traps, and that is in itself a quick play spell, and it can send a spell or trap from your deck. Okay. So it enables that a bit easier, and it's like negation or removal or attack reduction. Yeah. It does some cool stuff. Um, Bestial get a rank ten. Um, just uh, shuffles back banish stuff to either banish something or negate its effects depending on whose stuff you shuffle back. Okay. Um, and it can summon back a light or dark monster that is banished for free. Oh, and then it can do a thing where it can treat a light or dark as a tuner, right? That no, a that's a different one. one. That's a different oh, one. Well, how do you make this one then? Uh, same way. One tuner, one non tuner dragons. So it's Cartesia and Abyssal. Oh, okay. Because like, the Abyssal engine itself don't have access to tuners either. No, but there's Cartesia, which is yeah, like is. beyond easy to access. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then there's a, for reasons I don't fully understand, uh, Despia Synchro, uh, level 12. Um, this is funny though. It is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, um, if, it, if a card leaves the extra deck, um, everything you have gains 500, then you can negate the effects of a face-up card in the field to the end of the turn, non-targeting, so it's kind of like literally. If a card leaves your extra yeah. deck. If a card leaves the extra deck. So if you just summon a card. If you summon a card. Boop. Oh, oh. Shit. Um, oh, sorry, extra. Yeah, but... and um, thematically it makes sense as well, because from what I can tell the artwork, um, it's like the body of Fleur de Lee just sort of chucked in Nama because she's supposed to be dead. Spoilers. <laughs> well, spoilers. Jake, spoil it for us. Law oh, spoilers. You, you don't care about law, don't pretend. I care. Um, spoil the law. What else? Um, oh, there's Should a new we album. We could be getting kicked out. We could be. I think we're about to get kicked out of the venue. Possibly. If, yeah. if so, we'll see you on next week's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, actually, let's just film an outro just in case and we'll cut this stuff and do another one. Yeah, we'll just save the news for next week. I yeah. think we're about to get kicked out of the venue. Yeah, this could um, be a short, brief YCS recap. Yeah, a little podcast. YCS recap. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. Uh, jump into our Discord. Let us know if you have any questions for next week. Um, we'll have like a month worth of questions. Next week's going to be like a big question news podcast. Yeah, it's a big podcast. Big so Q&A. stay tuned for that. If you have a question for Luke, we'll try and get an answer. Yes. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we'll catch you all on the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye.